Pleasant good afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Graffi Muki and I are excited to be with you this wonderful Friday afternoon. We hope you have had a good week and that all is going well where you are and that you're looking forward to a wonderful weekend. I know here in Danquica there's a lots of graduation and graduation activities taking place. While you are out there celebrating, please make sure that you stay safe. Mm -hmm. So, we are wrapping up the week. We are wrapping up the week with our look at 10 facts that students in an Anglican school should know. And we were looking at fact three this week. And fact three says, love defines us. Mm -hmm. So we have been talking about love on Monday and Wednesday. We spoke about, well, what is love and who should we love? And today we will look at love in action. Mm, why love in action? You see, most people think that love is the name of something, the name of a feeling. The truth is, love is not only a noun. Love is also a verb. It means that love is an action. What's a verb, boys and girls? A verb is an action word. Exactly. Which means that when we love, it means we have to be showing love and doing something so today we're going to be looking at love as an action we're going to keep looking at our same bible reading that we've been using all week from first corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 to 8 let's have a look at that now and this of course is from logos bible software let's have a look if i speak in the tongues of men and of angels but have not love i am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal and if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Interesting. I love it. I love it. That's one of my favorite Bible verses from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that tells us all about love. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I love that love. <laughs> I love that love. I love that love is such a beautiful thing. But if love is such a beautiful thing, it means that we can't just keep the love to ourselves. It means that we have to share the love with others. And to share God's love with others, we have to put that love into action. Mm -hmm. We have a video from Life Kids. And Life Kids, the video, is going to talk about, well, what does love in action look like? Mm -hmm. Let's listen to the video. And hopefully at the end, we will have a better idea of how we could put our love into action. Here we go. Loving others and treating others right matters a lot to God. But to do that, it helps to remember some important things. First, be sure to love other people. I mean, really love them from your heart. No pretending. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on with all your might to do what is good. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice putting others first until you're the very best at it. When you're serving Jesus, don't be lazy. Be enthusiastic and cheerful. <laughs> Serve Him with a glad heart. When other followers of Jesus need something, be ready to help them out. And if anyone needs a place to stay or something to eat, offer them yours. When things get hard, don't give up. Keep going and pray even harder. Laugh with them when they're happy <laughs> and cry with them when they're sad. 
Be friends with everybody. Don't be a snob and only hang out with the cool crowd. Be everybody's friend. And whatever you do, don't be the guy who thinks he knows everything or who always has to be the center of attention. Be nice and say kind things to everyone, even the people who are mean to you, even the people who go out of their way to make sure you have a very bad day. Be nice to them and don't grumble about them under your breath. Get along with everyone as much as you can, even though it's hard sometimes. And if someone does something that makes you mad, move on. Don't try to get back at them. God will sort all of that out and he will take care of it. Instead, be someone others can count on to do the right thing, no matter what. So if you see your enemy and he's hungry, go get him some lunch. Or if he's thirsty, give him something to drink. When you do that, you'll surprise him a lot. And who knows, it might even make him feel bad, sort of like heaping hot coals on his head. And then maybe he will want to be different. Finally, whatever you do, don't let evil get the best of you. Instead, overcome evil with good. And that's it. That was a very good example. Thank you, Life Kids, for sharing that with us of things you can do in order to show love. And showing love is what? You want to show God love. Yes, because you know that we discussed on Wednesday that we love because God first loved us. Yeah, but how do we show God's love? We show God love by showing each other love. Exactly. I can't really know if God is hungry and so give him a plate of food, but I know that if you are hungry and I am close by and I have a sandwich, I could share half of my sandwich with you. That is love in action. If I see that you are feeling sad, I could ask you what's up or give you a hug because that is love in action. If I know that you are going through a difficult time, I could pray with you and see what I could do to help because that is love in action. We are a people of love and of course, we are created in the image of God and so we are made to love and since God is love and we are created in love then it should be seen in our actions they will know we are Christians by our love by our love but if our actions don't show that we love people if our actions don't show that we love God then how will they know that we are Christians by our love through the things that we say and what we do is how we show the world that we have the love of God in us And that's the moral of today's Bible story. That's the moral of the whole point of this week, to recognize that God is love and that we love because he first loved us and that because we love God, we are willing to love others. And you heard it in the video, boys and girls, we have to love even the people who don't show us love back. Mm -hmm. Because remember, we said that if Jesus only died for those who loved him, then most of the world would have been lost. Exactly. So we have to love because we know God loves us and because we want other people to feel God's love. That's it, you know. It's awesome, isn't it? I like it. Anyway, we are running out of time and we still have to listen to our Bible song. And our Bible song today is, of course, all about love. But before we listen to our Bible song, mm -hmm, before we listen to our Bible song, we would like to say a prayer. Is that all right with you? Yes? Yeah, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and then we will pray and afterwards listen to our song. Let's pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we want to thank you for bringing us into the safety of this Friday, for bringing us to the safety of the start of this weekend. God, we want to thank you for taking care of us in the week that had gone by. God, we want to thank you for loving us. I mean, You loved us every day to wake us up. You loved us every day to provide for our food. You loved us every day to surround us with friends, families, teachers that care for us. And God, we just pray that if we didn't show anyone your love this week, that through this weekend, we could show your love to someone. God, we love others because we want the world to see that our love for you is big. And through our love for you, we are able to show love for others, even when it's hard, even when others don't love us in return. And God, We just thank you that we have this gift of love and we know that gifts that are from you are meant to share with others. So God, help us. Help us to continue to show you our love. Help us to continue to show others our love and help us too to love ourselves because it's going to be difficult to love others and to love you if we don't recognize that we are important to love as well. We love you, God. And we lift our prayers unto you to the name of he who is love himself, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Thank you so much, boys and girls, for allowing us to pray. And thank you for being here with us on Children's Bible Minutes. We are going to close off with this song from Kids Spring Children Ministry entitled Love Each Other. Listen, don't forget. If you're going to go out, practice your physical distancing, practice your mask wearing, sanitize often. And we do these things to protect each other in love. Yes. Above all else, don't forget that God loves you and we do too. Until next time. <laughs> Bye for now. Love each other. Love each other. As brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help them love. We're gifts to each other from up above. You and me are the people we see. Each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12 10, Romans 12 10. God gave us family, we can help them love. We gifts to each other from up above. Love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters.